I see on, on TikTok what these people are trying to justify um, getting rid of student loans or paying a portion of them off with the backs of me, people like me, um, and, and these people, if they make the right choices, will be making more money than me if they go for the right degree and I have to give them welfare. They say, well, look at all these companies that all these billionaires and all these bailouts. Dude, I'm against them too. I'm against them too. I want less government, less welfare. This shit is ridiculous, man. If people, if 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 people have a cause, they want to try to, to, to alleviate a problem. The government is not the answer. Why, why is student loan debt such a huge thing? Well, it's a government fucking program. Anything that the government gets their hands on, they just fuck it up. The government is fucking shitty. And then you have these idiots advocating for more government. So they're just going to fuck shit up more. These people need to be held accountable to their fucking mistakes. Them them bailing these fucking companies out. These these bankers in 2008 giving them seven, 700 million fuck 700 billion fucking dollars instead of letting them fail. You know, if if we were going to, if they're too big to fucking fail, if there's an industry that's too big to fail and it's going to fuck us up, well, what we need to do is assist it for a little while, assist it, right, and then break that fucker up. Because if they can't run their company correctly, and we're going to go with this, oh, we don't want to get royally fucked why are they that big anyway? Why did you let that monopoly get that? Why did you let them monopolize shit anyway? We can prop up for a short period of time and start breaking up that fucking company. Because companies should be allowed to fucking fail. And other companies should be allowed to come up and who, who are running things correctly... And profit, and, and who are doing good things, maybe, you know, they they ain't trying to like what Walmart does, what which I'm at right now is in fast food places. Is what they do is is they don't pay their employees right, so their employees have to go on welfare. So basically, the government is subsidizing these people for these companies, so they have. Record profits every year. Um, and and I hear like with fast food or, or, or like baristas or whatever. Like people, probably people on my side who are saying, oh, those aren't real jobs. Those weren't meant to for people to do those jobs for the rest of their life. Those are meant for teenagers. So like I've seen this best fucking video on TikTok explaining well, using this scenario. Well, if they're just for teenagers, then why are these places not, why are these places open at five o'clock in the morning or 24 hour? Why aren't they just open from four o'clock PM to nine o'clock and then all day on the weekends? Why? If they're only for teenagers, it doesn't make any fucking sense. You need adults. To do this fucking work. This is an adult job. This is my problem with uh, the wage disparity. What's happening here in America. Companies don't care about you. They don't want to pay you. They want to pay you the bare minimum. In fact, somebody like me who works hard. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. Now, I don't work hard for my company. I don't even work hard to, to move up in the company. I work hard for my for my, my crew because my crew is awesome. 
I'm gonna fuck about the company. Because I know the company don't give a fuck about me. Um, I'm a sucker to my manager. My manager's probably thinking, oh man, he's busting his fucking ass for this amount of wage. Why the fuck would I give him a fucking raise? Why would he? That's what I'm saying. That's their fucking mentality. And that's why you have people quietly quitting. That's why you have people just doing the bare fucking minimum. And they should just do the bare minimum. Because companies will just continue to give you more responsibilities. And they won't pay you right. I'm there to make money. and I'm not there to fucking have pizza parties or fucking... Some kind of apparel with their fucking name on it. I'm there to pay my bills. And and if they want to do something for me, they could pay one of my fucking bills. That's a fucking bonus. I don't need their bullshit picnics or whatever the fuck they're trying to do. I'm there to make money. And, and a lot of companies don't want to give you extra money. I don't know if they think that you're on drugs. But they, I get a paycheck. I work for you. But you don't want to... Give me any extra money? You want to give me bullshit? You know, I don't fucking care about your trinkets. I don't want to... I don't want to acquire points to go on your 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 bullshit wannabe Amazon fucking site and try to get some fucking material shit. Dude, I want my fucking bills paid, dude. Um, That might be cool for other people. But uh, people, people who 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 are like me, who are who are who are not become, who are realizing materialism is a fucking bunch of bullshit. It's a fucking scam. It just puts you into slavery. Realizing that people don't give a fuck what you have, they really don't. So there's no point to be a slave to your possessions. Maybe that was cool in the 90s and the fuck, or before that to, to, to boast about your fucking house size or uh, you having all, all these cool toys or some shit. But unless you're you're getting your satisfaction and you're enjoying something, your joy out of something, why the fuck would I want to get an $80,000 vehicle and pay $1,000 a fucking month for that fucking shit? Fuck that. That's stupid. To try to impress other people when nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a shit. Um Yeah, that's that dude, I'm all about I'm all about like trying to prove yourself, but it's for you. I, I hear people this is why I don't agree with Andrew Tate. And I think he's just putting on a persona. I think he, he's just putting on a, a personality to try to try to make this is the same thing rappers do. Oh, look at my fucking riches, man. You're a fucking bomb if you don't have this. You're not going to be happy unless you have a fucking huge fucking mansion or Bugatti. It's a fucking meme, dude. Good. If that's what you want, if you want a fucking Bugatti and that make, and you think that's going to make you happy, fucking go for it. And, and you want to work your ass off and always be on fucking call cool man that's your mentality to fucking run a business but people like me who don't fuck who 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 don't want to be bothered on their fucking free time don't want to run a fucking business i don't want to be fucking thinking if i take a two-week vacation because i've busted my ass and i got the funds to do it is my when i come back is my business gonna be fucked or am i gonna have to be doing remote fucking work on my vacation, I don't want to fucking think about that shit. When I'm not, when I'm not at fucking work, I don't want to be thinking about fucking work. Other people might be cool just working nonstop their whole fucking life. I I don't work to me is fucking boring. It's boring as shit. Working out is work. That's fucking boring as fuck. A man don't need much to survive. So why would, especially, like, if I'm going to sit here and, and, oh, you got a fucking Bugatti or whatever, fucking whatever, try to press some fucking gold digger, fuck that. Fuck that. You know, 
But if that's what you want, that's cool. If that's what you want to do with your time, that's cool. L like I said before, I can restore a car, right? I can take a car that, you know, and, and it looks like a fucking pile of shit. I can restore it. I can, I can sandblast that motherfucker. Take all the rust off. Put a nice coat of paint. Make it look like a fucking brand new car. But it's from the old days. And yeah, it's got value right now. And people are like, damn, that's fucking badass. But all it takes is a fucking hurricane or a flood to fuck it up. Or or people not taking care of it. And then it becomes a shit a shithole again. And, and I put my time into that. Well, what if I put my time into playing video games? Yeah, it might not have any type of value. Some people might, if they got a good personality, people are making money off of that shit. But if I'm playing a level and I'm happy and, and it's making me content in that in that moment, just like somebody make doing that car, eventually it all it doesn't fucking matter anyway. It don't fucking matter. Because material shit, at some point, at some fucking point, is gonna t deteriorate. You know, I might make a, I might, I might restore a car, and it could last thousands of fucking years, but eventually, it's gonna be fucking gone. Um, eventually, those pyramids that were made thousands of years ago will be fucking gone. Whether a fucking meteor hits this place. Um, some, some kind of natural disaster destroys a fucking pyramid. Yeah. And it had thousands of years of people being awe inspired by slavery, by, by what slavery could, could happen. And we're still on that fucking system, by the way. It's just, it's more fucking, it's not, you're not held into slavery by whips and chains. It's, uh, economic slavery. That's what we're in. Um, all that hard work uh, something like that is you know it could be remembered but everything there could be an end of, of humans then what it doesn't fucking matter Mater that's what I'm trying to say material shit don't fucking matter it don't fucking matter it's okay like I like technology man I fucking like technology I like having a bathroom. I like having running water. I like having food accessible. I don't like having to work. I don't want to work sun up to sun down doing grit ass fucking work. Just to 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 survive far like farming and all that shit. So it's good to sustain our communities. It's good to have value for our communities, but what, what what I do outside, like, this is what I'm trying to say to people, like, you do what makes you fucking happy, dude. You know, I hear all these, these red pillars, like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Well, what if, what if I'm not wired like you? You know, oh, oh, porn's bad. Dude, if you like that, then you like that, man. If that makes you happy, that makes you happy. This place, this matrix is so hard to find fucking joy in. It is so hard. And if you find something that doesn't destroy your life and doesn't hurt anybody else, fuck what other people think. Fuck them. You know, just like I think that people who don't who don't real understand what they are because they can't look at their own plumbing and figure out what they are, have mental things going on, just like that. But who gives a fuck what I think? Who the fuck cares? If, if something's going to make you happy, if you want to like present us something else and that makes you happy, fuck everyone else. Fuck my opinion. Like I said, if you find something that gives you joy... And, um, and you're not hurting anybody else and it's not destroying your fucking life. Fuck everyone else. It doesn't matter if they're a fucking sibling, a friend, a parent, a kid. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm sorry. And I know that sounds bad. 
I know that sounds bad. Blood is not thicker than water, dude. Blood is not thicker than water. Why why would you fuck continue? Um, just because you're born into a family, maybe that's a self-destructing family that's that 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 does drugs and they're and they're all about alcohol or their alcoholism and and, and and maybe they might harm like children or something. Like you think I'm like you're gonna you're gonna stick beside them? Are you gonna separate yourself from them? That's what I'm saying. You need to separate yourself from people who who aren't gonna be there for you. It's hard to find people who are really who gonna be down for you besides trying to fucking use you. Um. Yeah, these red pill guys like they do have a good blueprint. Um, for, for what can make you successful in this fucking society. But at the end of the day, and say you do work your ass off and accomplish all those things. What if you're, if that doesn't fucking make you happy. So like figuring out what, figuring out what, what makes you fucking happy and makes you content. And then maybe, like, there's nothing wrong with self-improvement, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Improving yourself, uh, um, um, changing your views on something. Let's say you were born into, like, a racist family. And then um, that's what you're programmed to be. And then you grow up and then, like, and then you change because of the circumstances. You come into contact with somebody that changes your outlook on life. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. You were ignorant before, and now you have information to, to fucking change your your perception and your thought process and your programming. So there's nothing wrong with, with that. Um But yet yeah, like understand that these these people are always trying to fucking sell you something. Somebody's always trying to fucking sell you something. And, and, and that might not be suitable for you. Not everyone's an entrepreneur. Not everyone wants to fucking work out two hours a fucking day. Not everyone wants to like try to spend all their time to try to um, appease somebody else's... Um, lifestyle that they wish they've always wanted while they do nothing and they don't contribute nothing while they don't help build you they don't help build the lifestyle they don't do shit they just expect it dropped on their lap um like dude if i if i was andrew Tate and and i wanted to and i didn't have kids and i wanted to find a woman to have kids with i would make her sign a contract and in that contract, I would tell her, like, you're not allowed to go in with anybody else. You can only be with me. And I'm going to be with other women because I'm highly successful and I can do that. And if you don't like that, then you can go. But you're not taking nothing from me. You're going to end up with nothing. Why? Because you want me for a certain lifestyle. You want a certain lifestyle I can provide for you. These are the stipulations. If you, I'm just being honest. And if you don't like that, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna continue to provide you a lifestyle if you're not gonna uphold your end of the contract. You don't get it every way you want it. That's what these these type of men they can have. They have whoever as many women as they want. And 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 that might not make the they. That's, I don't know, I just, I just like to open up awareness. Things are crazy out here. You, you do what makes you happy, like I said, as long as you don't hurt anybody else. You ain't a fucking burden on anybody else. You ain't a stress on anybody else because of your poor decisions. Have at it, man. It's, ha there's nothing wrong with happen, having a vice as long as it doesn't destroy you. Because, to be honest, man, 
Sometimes you gotta plug yourself back in the matrix because this shit's fucking boring and dumb. It's so fucking boring, dude. Just to keep you fucking sane at this fucking point, man. Sometimes you gotta escape reality because reality's fucking boring. Like, did I, I relate? Uh, Eric Clary might not like me. He might disagree with me a lot of things, but I relate to him a lot. And it's he's way more intelligent than me. He's got a higher IQ. But um, when people, when people. He said, oh, they talked about the cake for five fucking minutes at some kind of party he went to. It's like, that's how I feel, man. Like, I don't fucking care about material shit. I like to have deep conversations. I don't, I like to talk about real fucking shit. And I don't want to sit here talking about the dumbest surface level fucking bullshit. These small talk bullshit. And most of these people out here, that's what they're all about. You know, I like I said, I have to plug myself back into the matrix in certain aspects so I can actually, I can actually, um, have a conversation and maybe try to relate a little bit. I try to use sports. I don't, I don't watch every, I don't watch all the fucking games. I used to watch a lot of fucking games and shit uh, of football, but I don't watch any of that shit. All I need, all I need to know is like a little bit of what's going on. I mean, I play, I play the video games of sports because that's more entertaining to me. Um, because I get to interact. But, um, when it comes to like the data, like I, to 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 be able to talk with people, um, something about a lot of people don't want to talk about real shit. They don't want to talk about polit like. The new the current events or social um, stigmas or problems that's happening right now. What's going on? Uh, things between men and women. People, people don't want to talk about it. People just want to put their head in the sand. So be, to be able to not just just can be a complete fucking dick, and I can and I have to to relate. I'm not better. I'm not. I don't think I'm better than people. I'm just out of the matrix, and they're still in it. In order for me to like have a type of conversation with them, I have to plug myself in a little bit. Um, but yeah.